Hello and welcome again to Forgotten Temples with myself, Mr. B. And today I'm at Prasat Pram. Have a look at that in a jungle setting and take particular, pay particular attention to that temple just there, covered with all the roots and the tree still sits atop of it like some almighty organic crown. It is a thing of absolute beauty. Now, Pram means five. So, Prasat Pram, we can expect to see five temples here. We are in the Co-Care complex, and there is some fantastic sites here. This complex was um, built by the king himself, which is Java Varman, the fourth. And when he went on a building spree, he did it oh so well. There's some of the temples here which I think are better than the uh, ones at Angkor, which may be grander, but the detail and the setting, well, it almost wants to stop your heart. And if you think that temple is pretty, believe me, I've got one better for you. So come join me and let's have a quick look around. And here are the five. One, two, three, four, and behind here is the fifth. It is an absolutely amazingly pretty temple, and I'm hiding it away from you because that is the treat for the end of this video, which won't be long because, you know, I like to show you the highlights or those that, things that interest me because if you come here, I assure you, there's much more that you can discover. Now look at this, isn't this staggering? The way this tree has embraced this temple oh so closely. And what this is, is a fire tower in fact. And the reason we know that is because of these holes. Because if you're going to have one almighty fire, it must be fed by oxygen. It's an amazingly pretty tower, isn't it? With these roots embracing it. But we must remember and cast our mind back to wonder what this was like when it's fully ablaze. To me, it would have been like some mighty giant venting his anger with all that flame and smoke. And because there was a strong fire cult back then, there would have been chanting and all sorts of other noises. It must have been a spectacular sight. But let's have a look inside as well. And what we find is not an awful lot. The other towers do have an awful lot more, but it's worthy of us casting our eyes upward because despite that tree enveloping it, it is in excellent condition. Now there's nothing we like more than a glowing doorway. It always looks like I'm about to walk into another portal, another time and dimension because it's going to transform our way of thinking of a of the way the ancients worked a bit and it shows us a bit about how the tomb robbers went around uh, doing their devious business because in here is something absolutely incredible now when i walked in it took me a while to put this together and it is an amazing little tale with some incredible details now already you can see something's going on and there is a very large pit. And I have to scooby-doo around the edge because trust me, I do not want to fall in. And I have to wedge myself in the corner so I can explain the story to you. This would have been a top here. And in that hole would have gone a statue of a deity, um, Shiva, whoever. Now what the tomb robbers did was they took that top bit and flipped it over there, after stealing the statue, of course. Then they were met by this piece, which was flat here, like a trap door, sealing 
this chamber because there was potentially some offerings underneath the statue. That's very common here. So they flipped this up to here. Now, what really amazes me about this is when I came over and touched it. And if you do come here, do this, really do. Because although this has like a beveled edge, it is so smooth, it's unbelievable. It's like glass. And how they polished it to such an extent is a mystery to me. The thing it reminds me of weirdly is I live with a hamster. His name is Wilbert. And it's just like stroking Wilbert's fur. It's incredibly frictionless, like it's soft. It's the most amazing bit of stonework. And it's from the pit of despair and the oh so soft stone. And it's another glowing doorway that calls us onward because we've got three temples to do. Now I'm pushing the camera over to the left to hide away that unbelievably pretty one. But we are gonna very quickly just have a look at these two. And it won't take long because that last one is an absolute gem. These two tell their own story and they're very similar inside. But what amazes me is these ornate pillars haven't been stolen. I, I'm staggered by that because the level of devastation inside is quite simply nuclear. It must have been looters, I feel. And the story is exactly the same in the next one. Again, they were here purely for the statues, it seems, and the lintels, because these door carvings are still here. And the devastation in this one, well, it's even more obvious. And here it is. And if any temple deserves a slow scan upwards, it has to be this one. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely incredible? Now the reason for these roots is obviously because of the tree. And again, we need to look up to see him. And there he is, you see. <laughs> these two are bound together for the rest of their lives. They're like some married couple in their late 60s or 70s. They shall be together forever. But it's inward we need to go. And we're just going to take this in smaller steps because visually it is an absolute feast for the eyes, isn't it? And here we have a large termite mound. Those things are literally like concrete. And we can only expect to see the same as before, yes. And inside, these have an awful lot of space. So the statues that would have been in here would have been large statues. It's a tragedy that they're all gone, apart from one. I know that one of the statues from here is in a museum in Phnom Penh, the capital. Well, there was absolutely no way this video was going to end any other way, apart from emerging from this doorway. And by me sitting here, hopefully I can give you a better idea as to its size. And the view I get is very special because all these roots heading down like this, it looks like I'm sitting atop of some waterfall with the cascade being the roots themselves. It is a remarkable sight and an incredible bit of beauty. But if this is not enough for you, then we have a fire tower and another three temples. And all of this is encased in a lovely jungle setting. And of course, there are more temples here because I'm in an abandoned city. What a way to start my day. I very much hope you've enjoyed this look around. 
And if you could like, subscribe and comment, that would be wonderful. And just maybe you could drop a few coins into my Patreon account to help me build this library. That address is www.patreon.com forward slash temples. As always, I wish you absolutely nothing but the very best. Take good care.